If someone is brand new to uh, self storage and they're really interested in exploring it and, you know, really want to see if this makes sense for them, <clears throat> what's the best way for a brand new person to even get started? What do they start yeah. looking? Well, I think it starts with um, with learning so that they know what they are looking for. And so no shameless plug, but we just got a lot of free resources on our website, again, just to help people. You don't have to spend a dime on it, just to, so you know what you're looking at and looking for. Then begin to seek out, if you're part of a real estate investor group in your city and there's people that are in storage, then, then strike up a conversation. Um, uh, I, I'd ask you to uh, ask them to, to go out to lunch to pick their brain, but um, we know that there's a whole lot of folks that maybe aren't interested in doing that these days. But if you can strike up a friendship, get into a conversation or even a subgroup in some of these other real estate investor circles or online uh, with uh, several meetups uh, around your area, then that's the best way to get plugged in and just uh, sit back and be a consumer of the information and to be a student of the industry to know what's going on. Uh, there's, uh, I was in single family homes for a number of years. I was in commercial real estate, being multifamily. And although a lot of the skill set applies in um, looking at leverage and cap rates and underwriting, it's a different business. And so to understand the nuances um, is really key before you take a, take that next and first step. Uh, we've seen, as you can imagine, in, in our on the education side of our business, we've seen a lot of folks that have um, taken that first step and they, and they stepped in a lot of doo-doo and, and, and created a lot of mistakes and messes for themselves. And uh, then have come to us to uh, help them unwind it, uh, get out of it, uh, or, or to you know survive that one, you know lose the battle, but uh, win the war by understanding what it takes to succeed on the next one. So, um, and then temper that with you know don't don't analyze too much or you know analysis and, and paralysis by analysis and analysis that causes paralysis. Um, uh, you, you you know the saying that to spend too much time researching before you do actually pull the trigger. So. Learn about the business, get some good advisors and mentors around you before, you know, to put some eyeballs on your underwriting and your offers. And obviously a good legal team or, or a, an attorney to look at your uh, contracts before moving forward. Those are probably the best ways to, to, to avoid getting into a catastrophe.